is Cassie Deputy with Deputy Tribe. Today we are going to be unboxing my home birth kit. Ahava and I, my oldest. So come join us right after this. Deputy Tribe. If you're new here, I am Cassie Deputy and I am a homeschooling mom to eight kids. Um, I'm having a home birth here where we live and I'm 33 weeks pregnant so I'm due September 18th ish but I usually go pretty early so we're looking at the next three to four weeks I'll be having this baby and I got my home birth kit which I'm really excited about and I haven't opened it or anything yet. So I'm excited to dive into this with you guys. Um, we also talk a lot about home educating, child training, politics, ministry, um, a lot of food stuff. We eat a very traditional diet. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Today we're going to be opening my birth kit. So let's do it. This box is ginormous. that over there but don't forget it's over there because you know a toddler will find it oh yeah okay so I ordered this from precious arrows I believe it was called precious arrows so your job is as we unpack this make sure we have everything they say so here's what I should get and here's the quantity this looks like a little baby hat <laughs> baby hat. Put that there. Is that part of it? This is a net, like a fish net for catching poop and other things out of the birth tub. Oh. You checking these off? No, I don't know. Okay. Move this paper. Oh my heavens, this is so exciting. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> All right, we got some granny panties. Unroll now to find other items wrapped inside. These are like mesh underwear, mesh panties, medium large. Inside I have two umbilicum cord clamps. We have alcohol pads. We have lubricating jelly, lubricating jelly. Sorry, I forget to show you. We have straws, we have like a measuring band. Lay all that out. We have some peri bottles. That's nice. We'll check all this off later. It's gonna take too long. This I added. This is a nose Frida snot sucker thing that you suck snot out of the baby's nose. Yeah, gross. Yep. Uh, we have witch hazel. I have this and aloe. Is this my aloe? <gasps> this is my aloe. These I got to make my padsicles. I'll do a separate video on there. Pads that. Padsicles. I got these because they were on clearance. They are stainless steel baby sippy cups, which I'm really excited about. You can get the sippy cup top or the baby top. Um, so I got the sippy cup top for Willow, but I'll probably add a baby top to that later. What in the world is this? This is a frog thermometer that tells you how hot the water is in my birthing tub. That's kind of cute. This floats in there. Yep. This is my after birth sits bath tea. It has sea salt, shepherd's purse, Uva Ursi, Yarrow, Comfrey Leaf, Echinacea, Lavender, Plantain, Raspberry, Witch Hazel Leaf, and Witch Hazel Bark. 
Super stoked about that. I think I got another one of those in here. Here is my inflatable pump for my birthing pool. Um, here's like a no sucker thingy. I always need a new one of those. These are perennial cold packs. So they're instant ice packs for now. So don't mess with those because if you pop them, they activate. Oh, I think I put one of those in my arm when I broke it. Here's some gloves. I got these for my midwife and they're like shoulder length gloves. She probably won't use them, but I got them for her anyway. <laughs> Uh, this is, I believe this is an iodine. Yep, this is an iodine scrubber. What is that for? Gotta stand up. Here is some more iodine solution. What's iodine for? Um, disinfecting, I think, mostly. I got a lot of these um, chuck pads for bleeding and such. Here's my other sits bath. I did get two of these because I want to use some in the bath. I want to use some in my peri bottle. And then it's just nice to have, I think, because my daughter has eczema, so I think it'd be nice for her to have a little extra later on anyways. Here's some maxi pads, which I didn't really need. I actually got some nice organic ones. Here is a portable power pump that actually will suck the water out of the tub and pump it out, I guess. Mm, gross. Yeah. Um, okay, so then I have all these. I gotta move this down. Uh, tons of chuck pads. Chuck pads. Chuck pads. More chuck pads. More chuck pads. It came with a sits bath, <laughs> which I have never used in my life. So that'll be interesting. You fill it with the sits bath herbs and it looks like you put it on the toilet. It comes with this bag. I don't know, I've never used one of these before, so I'm not quite sure how to use that, but I guess we'll find out. And then here's my pool liner. So this goes inside my pool so that you can clean up easy. Uh, here's some more chuck pads. More chuck pads. Oh, what's this? These are gloves, just medium sized gloves. This is a king size fitted mattress cover that's waterproof and heavy duty for giving birth. More pads. More chuck pads. There's a bunch of gloves. Just in case she needs them to deal with the baby or clean up or whatever. And then I got a few little newborn diapers. <laughs> Isn't that crazy to think she's gonna fit in those? They're so tiny. They smell like this is for uh, Sojourner's footprints and her birth certificate after um, I give birth to her. Hey look, more chuck pads. Oh. Okay, so on the bottom of this, like, you can't really see this crazy mess of stuff, but oh, here's more stuff. Ugh. These are gauze sponges, a bunch of gauze sponges. What is this? Paul, oh, it's an apron. My midwife's got an apron. A little poly apron. Here's more gauze sponges. And then the last thing, oh, here's another apron, <laughs> is my very own birth pool. <laughs> oh, what's this on the bottom? Oh, and here is Willow's birth or Sojourner's birth certificate that we will fill out when she is born. Okay, so this is my birth tub. It's a three ring design, eco friendly, free of all this extra crap chemicals. Test inflate on the next day. 
just have to blow it up and test it out. Sweet, so I got a lot of super cool stuff. Um, I'm gonna lay it out all, all out on the table and then kind of give you a brief overlook of everything. And then um, I'll do another video on how I make my padsicles. And then I will shoot videos of us testing out the birth tub. And yeah, pretty exciting. Well, we had a nice lonely moment while it lasted. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in, guys. Keep following my channel so we, you can experience the home birth. Um, you can see how we make our homeopathic stuff to get prepared for birth. And um, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to give you an overview of everything that this entailed. So you can see that. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Jesus is coming. <laughs>